Good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Forged Alliance Forever promotional series with me your host Guile and to follow up on the last game that I casted I have another one here on Certis Major but the more astute of you will instantly recognize that this is not a recent ladder match this is a classic 3599 because we have the one and only the little one he's not come back from Starcraft unfortunately so this is uh, a classic replay um, he's going to be rocking the UEF down here on the right hand side, fantastic choice on this map because T3 point defense creep can cause so much havoc because of the, the shape and the layout of the land and uh, his teammate Fight Fear will be rocking the Aeon and they are going to be going up against the father son combo from Gibral Gibraltar which is Clan Tag's rock. Uh, he's the daddy and of course uh, his son Tag Pebble, I always thought that was pretty cute the whole rock pebble father son thing, it's all uh, rather cool. So uh, Rock will be rocking the Cybran, no pun intended, and uh, Pebble will be rocking the UEF. You can see uh, generally the same kind of scenarios on the opening for the two UEFs. We've got, uh, well actually he's got one land factory up first, he's probably going to switch to an air factory in a sec. As opposed to Tag Pebble, he's been uh, getting out one land factory and his second factory he's going to build, or he's got queued up to build. It's going to be a land factory as well. You can see him placing the air factory there on the queue for by the hydrocarbon to get that assistance for power. It's probably the same thing happening here. Yeah, and that's going to be pretty consistent all around. In case uh, any of you newbies are wondering why that's the case, you want your air factory linked up to your hydrocarbon because, especially early on, they require so much power to get out those early units. You can see Rock though is already ahead of the game. He has his air factory on the hydrocarbon. He's managed to get one bomber out already. He's heading straight across the map to go straight for Fight Fear. We'll see what he can do at damage wise. Where is he? There he is. Oh, and three engineers taken out on that first bombing run. Very, very nice. Will he be able to score anything else on the second run? That's the question. Inti's already out for Tag Rock as well. Mobile AA out to try and defend Fight Fear's base for him. Uh, more Inti's out for Rock. And, uh, I think that's probably going to be the end of his little harassment there with his base, but certainly worth it. Three engineers taken out for one bomb. Definitely worked for no casualties, so well played there from Rock. The little one moving his commander forward has established uh, another factory on the ridge here for quick reinforcements obviously you can see this is going to be like the key areas where the two sides generally fight always pretty much the same rock is also moving his commander to the middle but i fear not doing so which is kind of curious he's elected to move to the middle here in between his base and tlo's so he could potentially lose out if he's not even going to fight for these mass points that's going to give Rock a pretty significant advantage um, which will definitely put uh, their team ahead. You can see we call this team one up here and we'll call the Gibraltar father-son combo team two on the bottom side of the map just for easy reference. You can see TLO already picking up one mass point and now we're going to have a little bit of a com on com battle. TLO has two or three units in support, a couple of strikers but that's not going to phase Tag Pebble at all. He's just going to pick those up uh, it's far too early in the game for a little extra couple of extra units to make any difference. And uh, you're probably going to get these two having a little bit of a fight for a while till they maybe they get into yellow and then they're going to back off. But uh, it looks like the little one gaining the uh, superiority on this side of the field at the moment. Pebble not wanting to get too involved. I don't know whether he's just getting a little bit intimidated by him. Of course, TLO um, had a pretty significant reputation even on the SOCOM community way back when, um, that was a long time before StarCraft 2 emerged and uh, he obviously got the international renown that he did. Fight Fear now marching his commander straight into the middle, I don't know if he was aware that there are some civilian turrets, he obviously was actually because he brought two uh, T1 artillery with him to help take that out. You can see there are two T1 point defences and a T2 flak, um, so it's a nice little bit of mass in the middle to reclaim if you can get there first, which it looks like he has managed to do. Meanwhile, a little scout just probing the uh, front of Tank Pebble's lines there. Let's have a look at uh, what the little one can actually see. So he hasn't got any radar up at the front. You can see why he was skirting. Whereas Tank Pebble, on the other hand, does have his up. He'll be able to see all of the units. Got a very nice idea of what's going on on those lines. Having a look at the economies, Tank Pebble is sitting on 20 mass. Fight Fear is sitting on... Well, he's reclaiming, so we can't tell. He's probably reclaiming that... Uh, Yep, that quantum gateway in the middle, so we'll have a look at him again in a sec. 
The little one is also reclaiming, so no use there. He's on about 30 mass, so he is ahead. And Tag Rock sitting on about 30, so it's hard to tell, but uh, it looks like Tag Purple might be short stacking on the economy. It's far too early to make any judgments or assumptions about where that will take us for the rest of the game. And you can see Rock has managed to establish this, this without any fire tools. He's getting some Cerberus T2 point defense turrets up, and that's going to make it more or less impregnable for the next five minutes or so until at least uh, a few units are built up or um, Fight Fear manages to take the battle to Tech 2. We'll just have to see how that progresses. Little one now moving forward. He's managed to secure this entirely. So Tag Rock securing this side, Little one securing this side. So team-wise, it's pretty even now on that side of things and uh, I'm always wondering on uh, maps like this, I haven't actually watched this one all the way through so I don't know what's going to happen at all but I'm always excited watching a TLO match because he is such a or was such a huge fan of getting that T3 commander and then op <laughs> air dropping it into your op his opponent's base and just building T1 PD and shields and just wrecking it so aggressive so dangerous it's always fun to watch, but to see if he does it this time. He's, he, I mean, he seems to do it in, in about 80% of his matches, maybe 75% of his matches. So uh, it's a fair guess that uh, he's going to give it a go at some point. That's what makes him so entertaining to watch. You can see he's got mobile shield gen in there now, so he's getting a nice mix of units together. That's going to give him some survivability. He's also got some mongoose out on the field, so he's definitely going to outrange tag pebble early on who's got nothing down here in this blob except t1 so he hasn't made the switch up to t2 yet so he's definitely going to be outmatched but on the other side of things his dad is having great success against fight fear he's got hop lights out in the field that are absolutely pulverizing the front lines of fight fear and they're going to continue to harass the fight fear really has got nothing i mean if he's just going to sit in there he might as well just send them in which it looks like he's probably going to do now you know, at least try and score some damage on it, uh, rather than just sitting there and getting hit in the face, which is what they were doing. And uh, see a few inties being uh, shoved over the top of Tag Rock's base from his son, giving him a little bit of air coverage. You can see a lot more inties though on the field for Fight Fear, so he's definitely gone for a slightly more air-heavy build. And that's got a T2 transport out there as well. You just see that flying around. There it is. Well, it makes me wonder what he's planning to do with that has got uh, T2 air now as well so should be interesting to see what happens to that but down here on the other side of things TLO has managed to get some triads up down here on on top of this ridge and that's pretty excellent coverage he's got from down there if we take a quick look at what he can see just reach kind of the edge of his base and I think that's in range of that T2 air factory which could be absolutely catastrophic for Tag Pebble and Team 2 um, being as it looks like these two guys are going to be going air and, uh, and these guys, uh, Rock and TLO, are going to be going land. Um, if either one of them leaves, loses the air advantage, it could be catastrophic. But at the same time, it's amazing how uh, Rock and TLO are kind of controlling this game. They're both pushing down, both at the doorstep of uh, their opponent's bases. You can see very nice shield coverage as well from TLO, not under any threat whatsoever. That's going to be the end of that T2 factory. And Fight Fear gets popped by something. No idea what it was. He has been rush building attack missiles. So I can only assume that that was a snipe. He has given his stuff over to the little one. Of course, I do apologize that I missed that. But that does happen when you don't watch all the replays through. But it's more exciting for me. So give me a break. Get off my back. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, now, so now it's a two on one in terms of concentration. But of course, when that happens, TLO, arguably without doubt the most dangerous player on the field to begin with, has got a massive eco boost now, having all of the extra base units from Fight Fear. So he's instantly going to have a lot more stuff on the field, just going to knock that down a notch on the speed, not doing anything of any particular note in his base or in the his uh, teammate's old base. Rock is kind of pushing forward with a couple of units up here. 
trying to harass some of this stuff. He's got a hoplite in there now, so this is probably going to be the end of most of this, unless he doesn't micro it out the way of these artillery shells who might have his attention fo focused elsewhere. Uh, the little one now pushing down with his units into the remnants of what was Tag Pebble's base, and that is probably going to be dust, I would imagine, although he has got some triads up in the middle, so that will uh, create some headaches, but of course these shield gens, excellent, excellent coverage and defensive maneuver for all armies, and um, that's going to afford him plenty of protection while he mops those up, finishes them off. So the, the difference here being, of course, is uh, Tag Pebble, while being still in, has lost his base, so he doesn't have any eco left, and... Uh, Although um, Fight Fear was eliminated, all of this base is still intact, so TLO is still getting a lot of stuff. You can see TAC missiles still being launched now across map instead of at Fight Fear's old base from Clan Tag's Rock, trying to reduce the production capability of TLO. But uh, yeah, it's, not, it's not anything particularly high value. That was just a T1 factory, but it still, nevertheless, doesn't want to lose all his mass points. He's got some T2 mass that Rock could be going after. You can see he's still launching TAC missiles. He's going to be sending them back up to what was Fight Fear's old base. Is he going to go for mass, or is he going to go for that air factory? It's going to be the air factory, so he really can't take another one of those. He wants to get some tactical missile defense up ASAP, but I don't think it's going to be enough. It's probably going to go down, although he's got immense repair capability from all of these engineers. You can see that's repped already. And he did have multiple attack commands for different structures queued anyway. We've now got some uh, renegades, no, sorry, specters out for um, the little one. And uh, they are going to be hovering over, doing all kinds of damage. They're pretty much outmatch. Fight Fear is trying to cheat. Interesting. Uh, being as he's out of the game, he's probably just using it so he can actually see what's going on. Um, but, uh, yeah, we'll have to see. Of course, that uh, does mean that cheats were enabled, so... But that is the first time that anybody uh, has tried to do anything remotely suspect, and he's out of the game anyway, so really not uh, anything to worry about. You see these loyalists on the four, uh, on the front lines now for Tag Rock, just going around cleaning up the last ele ground elements of that uh, army of TLOs. Triads on the ridge as well, putting down some suppressing fire, preventing Tag Rock from moving out. But Tag Rock's looking really heavily surrounded now. He's he's not pushing any more up top. He's lost out on use. You've got this huge bulk of uh, Titans now moving in from the middle from TLO. And I do think that's going to be possibly the end for Tag Rock. I mean, yes, he's got a lot of T3 units, but they're way down here. They're way out of position. And uh, TLO should have complete... Well, actually, he doesn't got complete air superiority. You can see quite a few uh, Inties out in the skies. Obviously, Worried about losing out two gunships, but he's got his commander caught right out in the middle. And that is not good at all. And Tagrock is going to go down to a huge quantity of Titans. And Pebble is defeated at the same time. He obviously knows it's over. He has left the game. And so TLO cleans up in 18 minutes. Uh, once again, not, uh, not even looking like he's breaking a sweat in uh, any particular way. But... I'd love to see him come back. I'd love to see him fight these guys again now, because obviously the meta's changed slightly. Uh, the game's changed as well. There's been a lot of patches recently on Faf. It would be fantastic to see, um, you know, how he would uh, bear up against uh, the, the, these players that are still playing, but are now the, the current, uh, you know, top players. But uh, we can only dream. Uh, unless TLO, by any miracle you are watching, please come back. We miss you. Uh, but I hope you enjoy that, guys. I certainly did. I will have more for you very soon. But for now, that is me signing.